All right, in this video, we're going to look at screen orientation and how to fix widgets that get a little bit out of order in KOWP. Now, this is going to be a basic fix for right now. If you're interested in more tutorials, please uh, let me know, make a request over at my website. But if I rotate my device, watch what happens. We have three separate pieces. And notice now, if we rotate our device, these three widgets kind of overlap each other. And here's the reason why, and I'm going to tell you how to fix it. I have this battery widget positioned at the top of the screen. I have this clock positioned at the center and I have this weather widget down here that gives us the forecast for a couple of days. Uh, I have it positioned at the bottom of the screen. Well, when we rotate our device, those positions, unless we change them, uh, it's going to stay that way. Notice the battery's at the top, the clock's in the center, and the weather widget's at the bottom. So here's how we fix that. we got to put a little if-then code or if code into KOWP for these particular widgets. And I'm going to go back into the uh, root. Here's our three widgets. The battery one, which is this one right here. The clock, which is this one right here. And then the forecast piece, which is this one at the bottom. Let's go and look at forecast. So if I go into the forecast, I go to its position. Right now I have it set position at the bottom. Well, we can apply a code to this by checking that box, clicking on the calculator, and we can tell the phone or tell KOWP that, you know, we only want this thing to be at the bottom at a certain time. And that's what this code right here shows. So if I go to the SI land, and if we scroll down a little bit, SI land is the function that represents the screen orientation. And this is going to return one of two values, either a zero if you're in portrait or a one if you're in landscape mode. So check out my little if code up here. If SI land equals zero. Basically, this is saying, hey, if we are in portrait mode, then yes, we want that weather widget to be at the bottom of the screen. Otherwise, basically, if it's not zero, which means it would be in landscape mode, we want it to be at the center right. Now, why am I picking center right? Well, let's just go ahead and check this code here. Let's save it and let's go back to the home screen. So right now it's at the bottom because we are in portrait mode. But if I rotate my device to landscape, notice now this widget is in the center right side of the screen. So it's not the bottom anymore. But when we rotate back, unless... Um, there you go. See, now it goes back to bottom. So bottom if we're in portrait, center right if we are in landscape mode. Now let's apply a very similar code to the battery widget as well. So I'm going to go back to portrait and we'll go into KOWP. So going to our battery bar, I'm going to go to its position. Notice it's at the top. Well, I want it to be at the top only if we are in portrait mode. Otherwise, I want it to be center left. That's going to put it over here on this side of the screen when we go into landscape mode. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And here is that code. If, don't forget your parentheses and commas and all that, especially if you're new to KOWP, this is going to take some practice. But SI land, if this is equal to zero, that means if we're in portrait mode, we want the position to be at the top. If we're not in portrait mode, if SI land is not zero, then we want to be center left. And the way you type those uh, pieces in correctly based on the code, um, notice if you click your, I can click here or here, but if you click inside of here, you kind of lose these words. But if you click outside the function or in front of this dollar symbol, you can get the various uh, things that should be returned. Um, so either we're going to return a top, which is that one, or center left, which is right there. So checking that. Let's save it. Let's go back to the home screen. And now, positioned at the top, positioned at the bottom, I have not changed a daggone thing about this one. So if I rotate my device, notice now this stays in the center. This is center right. This is center left. So that is our phone in landscape mode. Now, if you have some questions about how to get this to work correctly in terms of uh, get, make sure your launcher uh, support screen rotation. I use Nova Launcher, but in Nova, if you go to look and feel and you go to screen orientation and I have it set to auto rotate, therefore, uh, you know, when I rotate my device, I can see those changes in custom as well on, as well as on my Nova Launcher, because now if I rotate my device this way, now I have a big pro or the status bar or whatever you want to call this thing way up here at the top. And then if I toggle my dock, notice my dock comes out this way. That's all Nova Launcher. And then if I come and put it back in portrait, notice my dock comes in at the bottom. And there you have it, a quick fix to maybe uh, repositioning some of your widgets when you rotate your device between portrait and landscape mode. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.